Many people suffering from diabetes now have a new medical treatment option, especially if they're living with numbness and excruciating pain. Joining us to explain on what the FDA approved for what's known as diabetic peripheral neuropathy is Dr. Chad Demang, a local neurologist and pain management expert with the Avala Network. Thank you so much for joining us to explain that. Yeah, yeah happy afternoon. Good seeing everybody. Our first question, what are the symptoms of this condition? Who does it mostly impact? So diabetic neuropathy is obviously associated with diabetes, but not everybody with diabetes get this. It's about 30 to 50% depending on what studies you look at. What's interesting about diabetic neuropathy, it's not always associated with high sugar. So you always think about keeping your sugars low for all the reasons that we think of, but you can get a neuropathy even when your, your glucose is well controlled. Um, I have just a normal wire here to kind of explain you know, an analogy. So think about your brain being your computer and then your foot having a nerve that goes to it. So because of the abnormal sugar and glucose, it actually damaged the wire. So imagine the insulation coming off. And so you can imagine your brain thinks your feet are on fire or someone's stabbing you because of the abnormal signal that's coming from this damaged nerve. It's usually in the feet first because it's the distance from the spinal cord because that's where the cell lives. Um, it, once it gets to about mid-calf, you can start getting it in your hands. But this is a very bad problem, especially in our neck of the woods where we see a lot of diabetes. Yeah, and also, too, I mean, who wants to be living with that constant pain on a daily basis? It's, it's not a good situation to be in. So what did the no. FDA approve and how can this help these patients living with this pain? Yeah, so the normal treatment for diabetic neuropathy, obviously, control your diabetes is number one. But when we see people as neurologists and pain management doctors, we're basically dealing with people that are left with the pain syndrome, not the numbness, not the weakness. So the typical medications are, you know, gabapentin, Neurontin, uh, Lyrica, Pregabalin, Cymbalta. And these drugs can work, but the problem is there's a host of side effects, weight gain, cognitive impairment, so forth. So what a stimulator, it's really nice because you're completely bypassing the need for medication. So as we're using the analogy of the damaged wire, what the stimulator does, it goes into your spinal cord and it basically intercepts this abnormal signal before it gets to your brain. So instead of that burning, stabbing, aching sensation, patients will feel a pleasant tingle. It's really cool, Liz, because you don't need the medication, so you don't need the side effects. This is like a 30 minute surgery, so this is not a major surgery. And before we put anything inside your body, patients get to try it out. So kind of temporary wires, go home for a couple days, see if it works, pull the wires out, come back and see us. And then if they like it, we put the system in. So for patients who are wondering when will it be available and how can they access it, what's, what's the answer for those? So it's available now. The FDA has approved it. I, I could tell you as someone that's done hundreds of stimulators, written papers, trained doctors, we've kind of been using it for neuropathy before this. But now that the FDA has certainly blessed it based on some really good uh, data and some studies, it certainly makes it easier for us to recommend it to patients and to get it approved. I mean, just succinctly real quick for our viewers, these are people with severe nerve pain, whether from diabetes or some other course, failed medications or the medication side effects they can't deal with it and the pain is so severe that it's really enabling you know disabling their life uh to the point where they would consider an implantable device so these are the kind of patients i recommend it for thank you dr chad some help on the way for those who are dealing with diabetes but the sort of pain they're dealing with nothing's work maybe this will be the solution for them thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. I want to wish everybody a uh, happy Easter. I got my new little glow tie and my <laughs> rabbit ears. And uh, everybody be safe and enjoy a great holiday. You too. Happy Easter. Thanks for joining us. All right, Liz. Good seeing you guys.